hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to look at olama and how you can install it on windows guys we have been talking about olama and the different use case that we have but it was really not available for windows but you can you could use wsl but if you go to olama.com and then you go to downloads where in the previous videos i always used to tell that uh, it's not really available for windows but guess what now you have it available for windows natively you can just click here and get it download it and get the setup file downloaded just install it and you're good to go you just install it and it is going to install olama just like the way that we have been doing for mac os just installation of course linux is a little bit different where we uh, need to use this command line and then we need to serve the olama in a specific port um, and then get it using uh, but since this is available now now i think that there are so many users uh, who would like to use uh, the olama on windows and i think this is a great achievement i think past this video we won't be specifically talking about how to install olama because this is just the basic step and now it opens the door to more and more use cases different pocs for uh, different cases and sky is the limitation if you can go to the models tab here we can see there are tons and tons of models here you can click on the newest models to see the newest models you can go to the most popular models here llama 2 is very popular mistral my favorite and featured uh, we have this lava model now let's see the installation process okay where is the installation i think that is done so what i can do is after the installation we can see that olama is running here so you can see the logs and these are the logs and you can just quit olama from here now how do you use olama it's pretty simple just open a command prompt a cmd here and uh, just uh, specify that you just want to use olama so that's olama run for example mistral so once you do that it will pull the mistral model which is a 4.1 gb model and it will start up uh, your system to for your prompts and you can just put in your prompts but i have mistral already uh, run this once so it is already downloaded and it's getting ready so send a message and get the response that's pretty clear i'm on my pretty crappy windows of course it's this the speed will be very less i don't want you to wait for the results here uh, but you can try it in your own pc and i've tested it on an 8 gb gpu pc on windows and it works completely fine just like the way it works for olama now if you go to the blog section uh i need to discuss some things here so we go to windows preview so this is the announcement that they have is that olama is now available for windows making it possible to pull the image or the uh, large language model you can run the large language models and you can create large language models which means that if you already have a model you can just copy that model change in a prompt or you can fine-tune the model and uh, put it and use it in a native experience now it has the full model libraries as we have seen it also includes the open ai compatibility now this is what i want to divert your attention to so if you go down and you can see this uh, Python library here. Now since OpenAI uh, Olama supports the Python and the JavaScript library, it's pretty simple. You can just install pip install Olama and you can use this uh, style of getting the response where the base URL. So this is an OpenAI style of uh, using the client and instead of the uh, the normal url you can just put in the base url which is the local host here and if you can go just uh, check this out you can see that uh, the olama is running on 11434 port and you can use this style of uh, using in this python library 
Using the JavaScript library, it's the same thing. We have the base URL here, and then we have this beautiful JavaScript use. Okay, this is what I wanted to tell you uh, regarding the OpenAI compatibility. If you go back to the blog, there are different sections, different things that I need, want to tell you. Now it has the vision models, you know, the lava models. We have already tested out these models on my different videos that you can check out. But basically, this is just Olama, Olama run lava. There's 7B, 13B, 34B. You can run it in the CLI. And we have, we know, we have tested this out. I don't want to repeat myself with all the videos, but let's go back to the blog here. And you can see that Python and JavaScript libraries are as well uh, integrated in Olama. So just pip install Olama or in the JavaScript, you can go and tell npm install Olama and you can use this beautiful libraries. Guys, it makes it so simple to use Olama now. We have been testing out different things. We have been using WSL and whatnot to get Olama running because we know that the capability of Olama to get the outputs, it's pretty good. But for using it uh, in, in a Windows experience, it was not possible until now that we have the Windows integration as well. Now, there are different use cases, but guys, you can now go to my channel, which is at the right prompt engineer 48. You can go to the videos and you can search for Olama and just browse through the videos that I have. So private chat with your documents where Olama meets Lava. Then we have the open source solution for Langston integration running Olama on Windows. You don't need to watch this now because it's done. Auto select the best LLM. Olama meets Autogen, you know, run Autogen with Olama. Run multiple instances of local LLMs with Olama, running Olama with Cheshire Cat. You can see so many videos that I've created on Olama and I think you need to watch each one of these videos and get the view of what I have for Olama. Now, going forward, I will be focusing in more use cases since, you know, the cases that I would prepare could be used by any one of, uh, by every one of the audience here. So whether you are on the Mac device, whether you want to use WSL or Linux, you want to use Windows, no problem. You can uh, check it out, check out my videos and uh, try out different use cases. So I think, uh, OK, you can go to the GitHub as well for more information. But I think this, uh, I hope this excites you as much as I am. And going forward, we are going to create different use cases. We're going to, you know, create chatbots, integrate with Telegram, integrate with WhatsApp build rag applications, you know, do all sorts of things that you want. Now, OpenAI has released the, the text to video model. We can, you know, oh, Lama um, would come up with such a such a concept in a few uh, days, I think, because this open source community is huge and we have talented people working day and night to, for this open source uh, projects as well. So having said that, this brings to the end of the video. Check out the other videos on my channel. Join my Patreon where I'm going to create an Olama and Telegram integration chatbot that you can upsell and sell it to your customers or create a service. So having said that, this brings to the end of the video and I am so much excited. Wait for other interesting use cases. And uh, I think this should be it. Thank you. Have a nice day.